All right, the investigative task. All right, so um, uh, as usual, if there's any corrections, I'll put in the description or um, in the pinned comment. So compare success rates for allergy sufferers, following table summarizes the data. We want the relative frequencies of successful and unsuccessful treatments at each clinic. So for each clinic, we want to do it. So we want to do 51 over 139 and over 139 because I, I and then these over 68 to get the relative frequencies of how successful they are. So this would be um, 0 0.367, 88 divided by 139 is 0 0.633, and then 33 divided by 68 is 0.485, and then 35 divided by 68 is 0.515. Okay, based on the frequency table, which clinic is more successful in treating allergy sufferers? Clinic A, clinic A, because 63.3% um, are successful compared to 51.5% at clinic B. I would be specific on the numbers so you know which one's compared. Don't just say it's higher. Say which number is higher, okay? and then point and write them all out. Based on the design of the study, would a statistically significant result allow research to conclude that receiving treatments at the clinic selected party cause a higher percentage of, of successful treatments at the other clinic? Explain your answer. Um, causes, like causation is only done for experimentation, right? So we had random samples, but we didn't force students to go to one clinic over the other. So there's not an experiment. So I would say no, this is not an experiment. because patients were not forced, were not um, randomly selected, randomly forced to go to one, randomly <laughs> forced, is, it doesn't sound good, randomly chosen to go to each clinic. This is so so why is that a problem? So you can say it's a, not an experiment, it's an observational study, but why is that important? I would like to I would like to dig into the why a little bit when you're answering this part of the question. You might say something like um, there may be other factors in how the patients selected which clinic to go to that may have affected the outcome the outcome of the, the treatment. For example, I'm typing it because typing is way faster than me than writing it. For example, um, clinic A may, uh, uh, may um, uh, may work with a, with a diff, uh, have a different demographic that is that has an allergy treatment that is easier to treat okay just say something like that about why that might be there might be some other variables involved or things like that okay physician worked at both clinics received those believed it was important to separate the patient in the study by severity of the patient's allergy severe or mild the physician constructed a following mosaic plot Ooh, the values of the mosaic plot represent the number of patients who are successfully treated, unsuccessfully treated at each allergy severity group. For example, the value 78 represents the number of patients successfully treated in the mild group with clinic A. Oh, I see. Okay, so they kind of did that. Based on the mosaic plot, the phys physician concluded the following. For mild sufferers, clinic B was more successful. Seems like that way. For severe allergies, clinic B was more successful. For each clinic, which allergy severity is treated more successfully and justify your answer? At clinic A, I would say the mild, well, um, for for each clinic, which allergy severity? The mild one, because seventy, like more like you know, because um seventy. What's seventy eight out of uh, seventy eight divided by seventy eight plus twenty six? I wanted to just get that exact number there. Seventy five. About this is seventy five. About because seventy five percent of mild cases were successfully treated. compared to 
what is this, 10 out of 35, you know, 28.6% of severe cases, right? And for clinic B, same thing, it's again, mild, because again, same numbers, I'm not gonna write it all out, but you would do 11 out of 12, which would be 92%, 91.6% versus 24 out of, what is that, severe for um, 56, which is 40, 42.9%. Okay, so for example, that, that might be, that's the comparison. I would pick the numbers and say why. So both clinics, mild, they were better at treating mild cases than severe cases, okay? Um, for each clinic, which severity is more likely to be treated? So for each clinic, so for clinic A, which one, how many, both uh, mild was more at clinic A and clinic B took on a lot more severe cases, right? So clinic A took on more mild cases, mild. They had, and I would say again, the specific numbers, why you're saying that there's um, 78 plus 26 is 104. There's, they had 104 mild cases compared to how many severe cases they have, 35, 35 severe cases. Again, be specific on the numbers you're comparing to so they know, don't just say one, justify your answer. What number are you looking at? Clinic B is severe, it was um, 56 compared to 12. So severe, again, they had um, 56 severe cases um, compared to to 12 mild cases. Okay. Um, give a reasonable explanation why the more success, now use your answers for part C. So that means both of these parts, um, why the more successful clinic identified part A is the same or different from the physician's conclusion, clinic B is more successful in treating both severe and mild allergies. Um, Oh, the more successful. So, so clinic A, why was it so successful for? So clinic A is overall more successful because they only they they take on more um, mild cases, which both clinics are are good at are are good at treating. Are or are are both clinics have a high success rate of of um, treating. Clinic B takes on on more severe cases and still has a higher percentage of um, people who of, of successful treatments. And you may want to say, okay, where we said, um, uh, so we treat more successfully. Still has a high percentage of successful treatments um, for severe cases, and even for the mild cases. That you might want to say the numbers here. Like you might say, okay, what was the success rate for the severe cases? It was the, um, you know, twenty-four out of fifty. You know, it, it was able to do it twenty-four divided by fifty-six. You know, forty, forty-three percent. Um, yeah, 43% compared to 28.6%, 42.9% versus, um, um, I'm just losing track of my numbers here, 28.6%. And even for mild cases, clinic B does better. Again, you can say based on the percentages you get better does better, um, you say the 91.6 versus 75%. Okay, well, I just want you to say like, so So that's that's why um, it's overall more successful. So I would actually conclude, so how, we, how are we gonna say about this one? So for mild allergy and severe allergy suffers, clinic B was both better. So I would conclude it with say thus, um, the clinic B, is is um, 
more successful with both mild and severe allergy cases. The physician was right. Okay, and I would I would put that because um, you know you just want to tie it back into what they're asking you. You want to tie it back into part A when they're or this part where you're saying like, oh well, I mean, you know, we found uh, clinic A was doing better overall, but that's just because they were taking on easier cases, and so it's easier from an overall data point of view to look good. But if you break down the data, clinic B was doing better for both the severe and the mild cases, which is what the physician was concluding. So that's it. That was actually not too bad an investigative task, but um, yeah.